Chicken Country, J98, the boot. We are just about set for our final game of the day. It's DeSoto versus Park Hills Central. And DeSoto being announced over the loudspeaker as we speak. They are starting number 15, Jeremy Edwards, a six foot four junior. Also number 10, Garrett Keith, a five foot ten junior. They're also starting at Jacob Pasner, number 31, six foot nine senior. They will be starting at Sean Salomon today, number 20, a six foot four senior, as well as number 23, Dominic Bays, a six foot five senior. For the Park Hills Central Rebels, Wilshire. Surface will get the start today. Five foot eight junior. Hunter Kurtois, number 15, six foot two junior. Alaric Jones, number 20, a five foot eleven junior. Also John Comfort, number 22, 5 11 junior. And Drew Skaggs, number 32, six foot four senior. Pasner versus Skaggs at Skinner Court. At Center Court to start things off. And Pasner has the big size advantage over the six four Skaggs. Pasner is six foot nine, and he wins the tip relatively easily. DeSoto working right to left as you look on from center court on G98 Web TV. With the basketball, Kevin Sanders. He's got it right wing. He'll throw it over to the top of the key for Garrett Keith. Keith has it straight away, guarded by Will Scherfes as we're underway in semifinal number two of the night. Back up top for Jeremy Edwards. Gets it down low for Pasner. Pasner just takes it strong to the rack and out muscles Hunter Kurtwitz underneath to make it two to nothing, the Soto Dragons. And now it's Central in the front court. Driving and laying it in is Alaric Jones plus the foul. Alaric Jones had a big play in overtime yesterday against the South Iron Panthers, stealing and laying it in on the other side. That was in overtime. Alaric Jones, one of the better defensive players in this tournament. He gets his first two points right there, tying things up. And now he'll go to the free throw line. Alaric Jones to give Central their first lead if he can knock a free throw down. It is in the air. It is no good. Off back rim, and the rebound comes to DeSoto. Pulling that one down is Jeremy Edwards. Dragons are back up the floor. Solomon has it right wing. He throws it up top. This will be to Kevin Sanders. Sanders straight away dribbles to the left wing, guarded tightly by Skaggs, swings it into the low post for Pasner. Pasner kicks to the cutter. Edwards, who lost it, but Pasner gets it back. Swings out to Solomon for three, but it's in and out. No good. Rebound, Hunter Kurtois tipped it to Skaggs. Skaggs will run the floor. Drives, spins, kicks. Kicks back out to Scherfus. Scherfus has it at the right wing. Brings it back around the perimeter and throws it up top for Alaric Jones. Jones working on Sullivan. He'll start to penetrate. Got himself an open bucket. Reverse lay-in, though. Missed it. Hunter Kurtois got the rebound. Couldn't put it back. He lost the handle going up. Pasner boards it for DeSoto. We're tied 2-2. Two to two. He gives it up for Sanders. Sanders loses the handle of it. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by Central. DeSoto keeps possession. We're a minute and 21 seconds gone by in this first quarter in the boys' semifinal. Two to two, we're tied. We'll be talking to Coach Justin Callahan during halftime of, of this game coming up. He's the Farming Tonight head coach who led his team to a victory over the West County Bulldogs a few moments ago, 64 to 47. After the inbound, DeSoto is going to turn the ball over. Central comes up with it, but then Central returns the favor on the other side. DeSoto takes it away. It was Garrett Keith coming up with an interception. Sean Sullivan has it straight away. Gets it down low for Pasner. Pasner works the low post, overshoots a jump shot, no good. Rebound comes back to DeSoto. Put back doesn't fall. Pasner just having all kinds of success rebounding down low, but can't put it back. And then we've got a foul. That'll be on John Comfort, his first team foul, number one against the Central Rebels. The foul on the floor. Pasner having not, not having much trouble rebounding the ball, but he is having trouble putting it back underneath. Sean Sullivan takes the ball from the official, and he lost the handle of it when the official gave it to him, so he lost it inbounds, but they let him redo it. DeSoto has it. They get it underneath for Pasner. Pasner tries to pass far side, and the ball knocked away by Central, but then Central turns it over. Solomon's going to take it to the rack and get fouled, and Sean Solomon is on the board for the first time today. His first two points are right there. So Sean Solomon will step to the free throw line. The Solomon kid, he's been very good his entire career. 71% free throw shooter, averages 21 points per game. Right-handed free throw shooter puts it up. And puts it in. So Sean Sullivan gives DeSoto the three-point lead at 5-2. to two. Central basketball. Hunter Kurtois to throw it in. DeSoto to apply the pressure. Checking into the game is Jake Bennett, number 30. He is 
a six foot six senior into the front court. Drew Skaggs, and he's going to throw one down with the right hand. He did it softly, but it's a dunk nonetheless. Five to four. Central closes the gap. Skaggs averages 25 a game. He had 26 against South Iron. Right wing pass now inside. They go to Bennett. Bennett gets his jump shot blocked at the elbow. And Central comes right back up with it. They're back the other way, down by a point. Skaggs has it left wing, throws it right wing. Sherpas, he wants a three ball and banks it in off the window. That'll work. Central leads it by two. Will Sherpas gets his first points of the ball game. He fouled out against South Iron yesterday, but he's a big contributor for Central. Sullivan tries a jump hook, spinning in the lane. It's no good. Hunter Kurtois gets a nice rebound for the Rebs. Gives it up for Alaric Jones. Now into the front court. Comfort loads up for three, but overshoots it. Long rebound. Hunter Kurtois doing a great job on the boards. Tries to swing it back out. Sean Sullivan jumps in front of it, but knocks it out of bounds. So the Central Rebels leading now at home, 7-5 over the DeSoto Dragons. Caldwell comes in for Central. Austin Caldwell, the 6'1 junior, coming out is Hunter Kurtois. Kurtois gives a much-deserved breather. Inbound to Will Scherfus from Alaric Jones. Jones has it left wing. Bounce pass over to Scherfus. Scherfus steps up at the elbow, pulls up, shoots, leaves it short. No good. Pazner boards it for the DeSoto Dragons. And he's a man among men out there. He is a big boy. DeSoto is going to double dribble Sean Solomon as he's bringing the ball up the floor, turns it over. He had kind of stopped and hesitated, wanting to pass it up court. Then there was some miscommunication. Then he had put the ball back on the floor. That's a no-no. It's turnover number four on DeSoto. Central back the other way. Here's a pass in the corner for Skaggs. Left wing pass. It's Jones. Jones attacks and then swings it back out for Skaggs. Skaggs now in at the elbow. Back up top. It goes to Scherfus. Scherfus over to the right wing. Comfort steps into a three ball. Leaves it short. Pazner boards it again. He's already halfway to double-digit rebounds. Jake Pazner, right wing pass for Bennett in the front court. He'll try to thread a needle into Sean Sullivan. Ball tipped out of there. Couldn't quite thread that needle, but luckily for DeSoto, Central had touched it last as it sails out of bounds, and the Dragons will inbound baseline with Sean Sullivan. Two-point ball game, Central leading 7-5, 4-26 left to go first quarter here on J98 and J98 Web TV. Inbound to the second block comes to Bennett. Bennett travels with it, and DeSoto giving the ball away with frequency. Fre uh, Frequent, yeah, frequency. Seven to five, the score. DeSoto's committed five. Central will throw it in. Caldwell. Inbound to the corner. DeSoto pressure. Central breaks it beautifully. Now they've got a two-on-one on the other side. And Comfort blocked by Pazner. Pazner was the only defender back there. Blocked it, but Central comes back up with it. Comfort for three. It says, take that, Jake Pazner. I'll take three points instead of two. John Comfort is on the board for the first time. Two trays in the ballgame for the Central Rebels. Scherfus has one. Comfort has one. On the other side, DeSoto is going to turn it over for the sixth time. The Rebels playing well in the first quarter. Now a 10-5 ball game. Scherfus to run the point. Into the front court he comes. Throws it left wing for Alaric Jones. He works on Bennett. Takes it inside the arc. Swings it to the elbow. Caldwell tries the jump shot. There's Pasner again. Get that out of his house. Comes up with the block. Into the front court, Sean Solomon. Solomon over to the right wing. Pass comes to Garrett Keith. Keith throws it back to the left wing, Sanders. Now down baseline, Solomon. He'll try to drive it in, and he just runs all the way across the court, back to the right wing. Now they get it down low to Pazner, who had the position. Got right by Caldwell and Pazner. Off glass and in, 10-7. to seven. Now it's Central. On the attack, leading by three points. Into the front court comes Will Scherfus. Scherfus lost the handle into the back court, but they say Keith knocked it out of his hands, so Scherfus able to go and retrieve it. Into the front court, left wing. Comfort loads up for another one. This one's got going to go, and Pazner rebounds it. That's six rebounds already for Pazner. Three minutes left to go in the first quarter. Up top, Solomon lobs it down low for Pazner. Pazner with one power dribble, walked with it first. And there's turnover number seven. DeSoto has as many turnovers as they do points in this first quarter. 2.55 to play in the opening frame. Brayden Mannion checks in for Central. Gabe Craig is also in the ballgame along with Blake Nephew. Blake Nephew will inbound to Gabe Craig, and Craig will run the point. He goes to work on Keith into the front court. Spin move, and then dribbles it over to the right wing. Takes it in, shoots about a 13-footer there. It's not going to fall off the window. Rebound to Soto. Sanders pulled down the board, gives it off to Keith. It's Keith bringing it into the front court. Right wing pass, and ooh, miscommunication for DeSoto. 
Ball ends up out of bounds for their eighth turnover. It was Jeremy Edwards looking to swing it to the left wing, but Garrett Keith had cut toward the bucket. The ball sails out of bounds. Nobody home. 10 to 7 the score. Central looking to add to it. Two minutes, 30 seconds left to go first quarter. Inbound into Craig. Into the front court, it's Alaric Jones. Jones dribbles to the right wing, stops at the elbow, kicks to the near side for Skaggs. Overhead pass back to the left wing, Craig. Craig fakes left, passes right. Alaric Jones will take the three, but he walked into it. That's a travel. Central commits their third turnover, and DeSoto takes it back. Winner goes on to play the Farmington Knights in the championship game. Will it be a rematch of last year's with the DeSoto Dragons advancing? Or will Central get to the championship of their own tournament for the boys? The girls are already there. Up top, Solomon has it for DeSoto in the front court. He backs it up near the timeline. Overhead pass over to the right wing comes to Sanders. Sanders gets a screen from Pazner, loses the handle of the basketball, has to pass it off to Keith. Keith, overhead pass back to Solomon. Solomon wants the deep three. Look out. Oh, it's not going to go. Andrew Skaggs rebounds it. Here's a overhead pass over to the right wing, all the way up to the front court from Skaggs to Mannion. Back up top to Skaggs. Skaggs with a pump fake. Then he'll pull up from the elbow and shoot. Can't get it to go. Pazner had the rebound, but good job by Blake Nephew tipping that away from Pazner. And then a foul called on DeSoto. Pazner kind of, he, he just was content to let that ball come to him. He thought nobody was around him and Blake Nephew got around him and knocked the ball away and in frustration trying to reach and get the ball back. Pazner commits his first foul. DeSoto inbounds, a left wing three ball off the inbound from Braden Mannion's not going to go. Here's a foul on the rebound. This one will be called on Sanders. And DeSoto although they're only, they're only down by three, they're really getting outplayed by the Central Rebels in the first quarter. Substitution for DeSoto will be number 22, Sean Leonard, six foot four, junior. Inbound comes into Blake Nephew on a bounce pass. He lost the handle of it. There's a fight for it. Nephew, good job kicking it back out to Braden Mannion. Now a right wing pass to Craig. Craig bounces it to Alaric Jones in the corner. Jones back out to Craig at the right wing. Now left wing. Braden Mannion spots up for the three, but can't hit it. And the rebound comes to Keith for DeSoto. Getting it over Jones. Into the front court, DeSoto down by three. The Dragons looking to tie or get it to within one. Into the corner, the pass comes to Jeremy Edwards. Now they'll try a baseline pass, and again, nobody home, and DeSoto keeps giving the ball away. That is number nine in the turnover department for the DeSoto Dragons. So Bennett checks back in for DeSoto, along with Dominic Bays, the six-foot-five senior. One minute, 12 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Central has Blake Nephew to inbound, and dangerous pass comes into Skaggs. Skaggs lost it for a second, then got it back, and then gets fouled as he was bringing it up the far sideline. For DeSoto, it's their fourth team foul, and the first personal foul on Jake Bennett. 108 left to go first quarter. A spot in the championship on the line in this semifinal of the Central Christmas Tournament. Left wing pass, Alari Jones off the inbound. Kicks to the corner, Skaggs. Overhead pass to the right wing. Craig pulls up from the elbow, shoots, and scores it. Craig gets his first points of the game, and that is five different Rebels that have scored in this one to make it 12-7, Central by five. DeSoto into the front court, breaking through the Central press. Sean Solomon shoots from the elbow, no good. Offensive rebound, Bennett can't put it back, and then a fight for the rebound. Looks like Bennett's going to go over the back, and I'm telling you, things aren't going DeSoto's way in the first quarter. 44.1 seconds left to go in the first. Bennett picks up his second. All that being said, they only trail by five. If they can weather this storm and start playing DeSoto basketball, things will start looking much brighter. Blake Nephew inbounds to Craig. Craig into the front court. It's a two-on-two. -two. He kicks to Mannion. Mannion with one quick move and puts it up with the right hand and puts it in. That's the sixth different Rebel to score in this one. It's now 14-7. Central steals the inbound. Drew Skaggs with the steal and takes it to the rack. Drew Skaggs has a four points, 16 to seven at Central. DeSoto's committed 10 turnovers, and Coach Genowine hates what he's seeing. He calls the timeout with 28 seconds left to go first quarter. We're back in 30 seconds on J98. The Potosi R3 School District is committed to excellence, and they are proud of their students and athletes. These young people work hard and show a ton of dedication. The Potosi R3 students and athletes are committed to excelling to high levels of achievement. Attitude and perseverance play a big part in their success. The Potosi R3 School District sincerely hopes this 2012-13 school year is a wonderful and memorable stepping stone in your life's journey.
28 seconds left to go first quarter. The Central Rebels have owned the first quarter here against the DeSoto Dragons. 16-7, our score. DeSoto inbounds to Jake Pasner. Pasner swings it back over to Jeremy Edwards. Edwards, quarter of the way up the court, tries to thread a needle, and there's Braden Mannion to jump in front of it for another steal. Bounce pass to Alaric Jones, and Jones with the finish off the 11th turnover. Alaric Jones now has four points. Braden Mannion creating that one. It's now 18-7 Central. Sean Solomon has it left wing. Five seconds left to go first quarter. Right wing pass. And down to one second, they'll throw up a prayer at the buzzer with a hand in his face. It was Sean Leonard. Could not get it to fall. 18-7 Central wins the first quarter with authority. The Rebels hold an 11-point lead as we move to the second. And we'll do that in one minute on J98. Need a concrete job? Let Polite Ready Mix do the job for you. Polite Ready Mix has been in business for nearly three decades, and they're locally owned and operated with five locations servicing Washington, Iron, St. Francis, and surrounding counties. And in addition to their already great service, Polite Ready Mix offers several trucks in a concrete conveyor. Contact Polite Ready Mix, nearest you for a no-obligation estimate today. It's Auto Center's Bond Hair year-end celebration with thousands of dollars in savings. Every certified car, truck, and SUV with a lifetime warranty is clearly marked down thousands. Qualified customers receive zero down and zero payments till spring. Let's not forget, everybody's approved at Auto Center's. Auto Center's is the only dealer with green light auto credit, certified vehicles, and lifetime warranty. So get it all at Auto Center's on Highway 67, Bond Hair, or on the web, autocenters67.com. Central Rebels leading 18-7 as we start the second quarter. DJ Buchanan wants the three ball up the left wing after the inbound, and Buchanan's going to get that one to fall for the Central Rebels, and it's now five points for him in this ball game. His first three makes it 21-7 Central. Now Central's going to come up with yet another turnover. That is number 12. Into the front court, DJ Buchanan. He'll throw it over to the left wing. Back up top four, Buchanan. Buchanan now throws it left wing for Hunter Kurtois. Kurtois back out to Buchanan, who's got it back near the timeline. DJ Buchanan goes to work. He dribbles it over to the right wing, picks up his dribble, throws it into the corner. Into the corner here is Skaggs. Skaggs back out to Buchanan right wing, throws it up top for Jones. Jones attacks, then kicks to the corner. Three ball, Mannion. That's not going to go. Rebound, Pasner. Pasner stole that one away from Buchanan on the rebound. He'll pass it back out to Jeremy Edwards. Edwards gives it up to Keith, and Keith will bring it across the timeline. DeSoto trailing 21-7. We're under seven minutes to play. And Keith with a crossover move, throws it over to the right wing. Back to Edwards. Edwards spins on that pivot foot, then puts the ball on the floor. Throws it top of the key. Hands off to Keith. Keith dribbles to the elbow. Swings it baseline. Edwards with a pump fake. Then swings it back out right wing. Out the right wing it is Sean Leonard. Sean Leonard tries to swing a pass into the corner. Central touched it last as it sails out of bounds. DeSoto will have another chance at it. 6.34 to play in the second quarter on J98. J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Inbound from Sean Solomon baseline. Takes his time, throws it in at the elbow for Pastner. Pastner trying to show off the range and knock down a deep two, and he sticks it through. 21-9. Pastner has six points. 21-9 DeSoto Trail. Central into the front court. Braden Mannion dribbles in and then dribbles it off of somebody's foot, and DeSoto takes it away. Central commits their fourth turnover. Back the other way. It is Heath. And Keith dribbles to the right wing, guarded by Buchanan. Buchanan draped all over him, tries to swing a pass out, nearly stolen away. Tipped into the backcourt, but DeSoto runs it down. Now back to Sean Leonard. Leonard throws it back over to Keith. Keith back near the timeline. A 21-9 central lead. Keith swings it over to the right wing. Back to Leonard. Leonard gets a down low to Pasner. Fadeaway jumper off glass. Not going to fall. Central boards it with Hunter Kurtois. Kurtois throws a dangerous pass out to Skaggs, but Skaggs controls it and then gives it up to the right wing for Jones. Now Jones starts going to work. He'll swing it up top for Skaggs. Back in at the free throw line, Kurtois. Good ball movement here for Central as they go back to the left wing for DJ Buchanan. Up top now, it's Alaric Jones. Jones takes right, dribbles left, throws to the corner. Buchanan, he wants the three ball, but not going to go. Nothing but air on that one. Kurtois had a chance at the rebound, couldn't control it. Pazner being real physical with him down there, kind of shoved him out of bounds. No foul call, just some good hard basketball. Kurtois had touched it last, so DeSoto takes over. 
It will be the inbound coming in from Jeremy Edwards. They've got Leonard trapped in the corner after he controls it, but he gets it back to Edwards. Still back in the backcourt. They'll get it up top now to Sean Sullivan in the front court. He'll try the runner and leaves it off the rim and in. And Sean Sullivan has himself five points. It's been all Sullivan and Patster in this ball game. They have made up the entire 11 points in the game. Now Sullivan jumps in front of a wayward pass, takes it back the other way, but missed the lay-in, and Will Scherfus comes up with the board, and then we've got a foul. So Sean Sullivan had a golden opportunity to make it a eight-point game after the steal and drive back the other way, but missed it. Will Scherfus was right there to pick it back up and then drew the foul. The foul called on Keith. His first team foul number six on DeSoto. Central basketball. Alark Jones inbounds to Will Scherfus. Now back into the front court for Jones. He's got it right wing. Alark Jones throws it near side corner. Now overhead pass back up top. This is Scherfus. Scherfus back to the corner. It's Comfort now inside to Skaggs. Skaggs will pull up from the free throw line. It's no good. Pazner boards it. We've got a foul. And that'll go on Central. John Comfort picks his second foul of the game up. Third foul on Central. Four minutes, 41 seconds to go in this first half. Central's controlled it most of the way. They led by as much as 21-7, but DeSoto on a 4-0 run here. Dragons bringing the ball up the floor with Jeremy Edwards. He hands it off to Sullivan. Sullivan into the corner, gives to Leonard. Leonard walks with it after a pump fake and a move. DeSoto is just shooting themselves in the foot all day long. 13 turnovers now for the DeSoto Dragons. Down by 10, 21-11. Now here come the Rebels. It is Will Scherfus racing it into the front court. Goes to work on Keith, throws it left wing for Jones. And Alaric Jones guarded by Sean Sullivan up top for John Comfort, who he wanted to spot up for a deep three. Thought better of it, gives it off for Will Scherfus. Scherfus back up to Jones. Jones takes it inside the arc from the key, shoots and scores from just beyond the free throw line. Alaric Jones has six points in the ball game. 23-11, Central breaks the 4-0 run by DeSoto, and they're up by 12. Sean Sullivan gets the ball in the front court. Oh, he stepped on the line, says the, fish, the official on the near side. Sean Sullivan... Gives DeSoto their 14th turnover right there, and self-destruction just continues for the team wearing the white jerseys today. 23-11 Central. Left wing, it is Jones. Kicks to the corner for comfort. Now back to the right wing, it's Scherfus. Scherfus fakes left, dribbles right, pulls up and shoots, but it rattles out just inside the arc. Rebound to Soto after Pazner pulled it down. He's well into double figures already in the rebound department is the biggest guy on the floor by far. They get it to him down low. He'll turn around and put it off glass and in right underneath. And he says, let's go, as he steps through the free throw line, trying to get his team charged up and get him on the straight and narrow in this one. Pazner has himself eight points. He'll go to the free throw line to try to make it nine. 23-13 the score after that last lay-in. And if he is his ninth point falls, it'll be a nine-point game. 23-13 as it stands right now. Pazner's free throw will not go. And Central brings down the rebound. John Comfort, oh, what a pass underneath to Caldwell, but Caldwell couldn't finish the lay-in. They had the numbers back as they beat DeSoto to the board, but no points. That trip down for the Rebels. So DeSoto a chance to get it back to within single digits. A right wing pass comes to Edwards. Edwards throws it back up top for Sullivan. Alaric Jones there for the steal. He's racing the other way. A two-on-two. Two. Jones with the finish. Alaric Jones is impressing me in the first half. He's got eight. 25-13. DeSoto continues to struggle in the first half. Edwards fires a pass up, nearly intercepted by Drew Skaggs. He couldn't keep it in bounds, though, but this defense for the Central Rebels has been all over the place, forcing 15 turnovers. Now, several of those turnovers have been DeSoto just, you know, lack of communication, not quite being on top of their game, but the other half of those turnovers have been Central really forcing them into some of these things they don't want to do. Left wing, it's Edwards in the front court. He'll swing it to Sullivan. Sullivan wants the baseline three, and he has got it to go, 25-16. to 16, And it continues to be the Sullivan patsner show in this ballgame. Those are the only two guys doing anything. 25-16 the score, nine-point game. Scherfus feeds the low post to Drew Skaggs. It's tipped right back out to Scherfus. Scherfus brings it top of the key, swings it left wing for Jones. Jones fakes left, dribbles right, throws it up top for Scherfus. Back to the right wing, Skaggs. Skaggs looking to go to work, but didn't like what he saw, so he gives it back up to Scherfus. Scherfus takes the three straight away. No no good. John Comfort's going to pick up his third foul as he collides with Jake Pazner. They hit heads. Pazner does his best, best acting job and hits the deck right there. That's number six on, and number five on the Rebels, and number three on John Comfort. 
So John's going to come off, it looks like. Blake Nephew's in as Skaggs comes off as well. Braden Mannion was in for comfort, so it's Caldwell, Nephew, Mannion, DJ Buchanan back on the floor, and Alaric Jones. Bringing the ball up the floor is Sean Solomon. The ball poked away from him, then he controls it. Into the front court he comes, a foul. This will be on Jones. That'll be number six on the Rebels. So DeSoto was able to close the gap back to nine points with a three ball by Sean Solomon. He's got eight points. He averages 21 points per game. Jake Pazner has eight points in this one as well. And for Patzner, he has been the leader all year long as well. Underneath the bucket, a quick jump shot taken, no good. Solomon gets the rebound, tries to stick it back. It's no good, but he does get fouled, and he'll step to the line. Pazner and Solomon both averaging 21 points per game this year. Solomon is the free throw shooter here. He's shooting 71%. On the season, he's one for one today. DeSoto has a team one for two as Pazner missed the one he shot. So DeSoto playing better as the second quarter has wore on. Sean Solomon's free throw, no good off back rim. Two minutes and one second left to play first half. Again, coming up halftime, we'll be talking to Farmington Knights coach Justin Callahan after they got a win over West County. Earlier today, 64-47 to advance to the championship game. They await the winner of this one. Sean Solomon trying to salvage this trip to the free throw line and go one for two, and he does. 25-17, it's an eight-point game. Dominic Bay's back in the ball game for DeSoto. Number 23, the six-foot-five senior. Central inbounds, DeSoto's gonna pressure. It is Buchanan dribbling the ball into the front court. Attacks from the right wing, swings it to the corner. That's Mannion. Mannion dribbles all the way around the perimeter, takes it inside, then swings it back out to Buchanan. Down to one minute, 45 seconds left to go first half. Buchanan showing off his ball skills, dribbles in, swings it left wing. Now a drive and a jump shot. Reed Lucas, who just checked in, he missed it. Left it short, no good. DeSoto rebounds it. Edwards swings it over to Bays, and Bays gives off to Keith, and Keith will walk the ball up the center of the court. DeSoto now down by just eight. Into the front court. Keith picked up his dribble. Gives it inside for Leonard. Leonard swings it out right wing. Bays wants the three ball. And that's not going to go. Hunter Kurtois with the board. He gives to Buchanan. Buchanan into the front court. He starts going to town. He's got it right wing. Throws it up top. Braden Mannion. A little head fake. Drives. Stops at the second block. Swings it back out. Buchanan. Back to the corner for Braden Mannion. Bounce pass back up top. Buchanan. Buchanan pulls up inside the key. Shoots the jump shot. No good. Rebound. Hunter Kurtois saved it from going out of bounds to Reed Lucas. Lucas goes back up on a fadeaway. Can't get it to go. Then we've got a whistle after the fact on Central. It's a foul on the Central Rebels after the ball was ready to come down for a rebound. A call Blake Nephew here for a push, his second team foul, number eight, and DeSoto will walk it to the other end and shoot the front end of a one-and-one. One. Looks like it'll be Edwards of the DeSoto Dragons stepping to the free throw line. Jeremy Edwards. 62% free throw shooter on the year. DeSoto trying to go to 10-1. and one. Central giving them all they can handle in the first half. The next free throw, good from Edwards. So he earned himself another one. And finally, someone not named Solomon or Patzner for DeSoto is on the board. 25-18, this to make it a six-point game. The next one, good. It rattles through from Jeremy Edwards. 25-19, under a minute to play. Central trying to finish strong in the first half. And in the front court, it's DJ Buchanan. He's got it left wing. Swings it up top for Reed Lucas. Right wing pass Mannion. Bounce pass down low. Was kicked. Off of DeSoto, Central will inbound from baseline. 45.5 on the clock here on KTJJ. FM, Farmington Festus, Crystal City, Park Hills, DeSoto. Jake Pazner was off briefly. He's going to come back in. Dominic Bays comes off. Five on the floor for DeSoto. Leonard Bays, or Leonard Solomon, Pazner, Edwards, and Keith. Underneath the bucket. Hunter Kurtois takes the inbound and goes right up with it and lays it in. Hunter Kurtois scores it for Central. Two points for him. Now DeSoto dribbling it in to the front court. They will find Leonard. Leonard with a bounce pass over to Keith. He nearly lost it. Central's really playing some tight defense right here. We've got a foul on the floor, though. That'll be number nine, sends DeSoto back to the free throw line. 27-19, Central leads, 23.1 seconds on the clock. It's Keith now going to the strike for the DeSoto Dragons. And for Keith, his free throw shooting this season with 
He'll have to make one, earn another one here, and make this a seven-point game if he can hit his first. He cannot. Hunter Kurtois comes down with the rebound. So Central now, will they try to hold it for one final shot as they get it into the front court? I would bet so. Down to 13 seconds. Buchanan has it straight away. Pulls up his dribble, then throws it right wing for Skaggs. Down to seven seconds as Skaggs controls it. Down to six. Down to five. Down to four. Kick to the corner. Down to two. Up top Skaggs. He'll shoot the three ball. Airmailed it. No good at the buzzer. 27-19. DeSoto Dragons trailing against the Park Hills Central Rebels by eight points as we go to the break. Oh, there's the wrong way play. Got a layup out of it. Yeah, DeSoto took it to the rack right there, but Jake Patsner Central didn't know where DeSoto was going. Coach well, Callahan. That's an old play. That, you know, they call the wrong way play. Uh, I've done that a time or two in the past, and uh, we were kind of joking about the other day. I don't think I would do that anymore because I don't know if that's great. You know, I don't know if that's all about sportsmanship, but, you know, it, I guess. You could argue that either way. It's, well, and, and for DeSoto, it just got them a nice dunk and some momentum. So and and they go. needed something to happen right there. Coach, we appreciate your time uh, during the half. It was good to have you there to explain that one for us. We appreciate it. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Thanks here, a lot. Here comes a three ball off the inbound and no good from John Comfort. But Drew Skaggs will pick it up and put it right back in from the free throw line on the jump shot. That will make it 29 to 21. But Coach uh, Callahan describing that wrong way play. I'll, I'll describe that to you here in just a minute in case you missed it on G98 Web TV. But DeSoto down by eight points. They get it inside to Keith. Back the other way now. Here comes uh, Sanders. And Sanders throws it up top. Back to Keith. DeSoto is trailing by eight points. 29-21. Seven minutes left to go in the third quarter. Right wing three ball. Sanders can't get that one to fall. Ends up over the backboard and out of bounds. So basically what it was is DeSoto set up everybody in the backcourt on the inbound, and that kind of confused Central, so everybody went over to that side, all the defenders. That then Patster comes running into the front court, and he just let him in on the inbound. He took it unopposed for the dunk right there. Central just didn't know which way DeSoto was going on the inbound right there, and DeSoto took advantage of it. 29-21, but then Drew Skaggs would answer with a jump shot on the other end, so it's Back to an eight-point game. Central has the basketball, leading by eight. And here come the Rebels. Will Scherfus has it left wing. He'll throw it over to John Comfort. Comfort gets it inside Skaggs. Skaggs using the window again with a deep jumper. Knocks it down. Drew Skaggs only had four first-half points, all coming in the first quarter. He's heating up now. Makes it a 10-point game, 31-21. to 21. Well, here comes a whistle on this inbound, and let's see. It looks like the officials are going to differentiate on the call right here. Looks like the Soto had gotten the timeout in time before a five-second call. So Coach Genoine avoids the turnover. During the timeout, we'll get you caught up on some of the halftime stats as we went, went long there with Coach Justin Callahan during the half. Pastner had eight first-half points. He now has ten after that dunk off of the inbound in the wrong way play as coach Callahan described it Sean Sullivan had nine points in the first half and Edwards had two for DeSoto Lark Jones with eight first half points Drew Skaggs with four first half points but then four quickly here in the third quarter to give him eight Will Scherfus with three John Comfort with three Hunter Kurtois with two DJ Buchanan with five and Garrett Mannion with two points it's a ten point lead for the the, the Central Rebels as we start in the third quarter after the timeout, 6.20 to play. Sean Sullivan and the DeSoto Dragons working left to right as you look on on J98 Web TV. Central from right to left. Here's a pass up top, Sullivan. Sullivan steps inside the arc, throws it right wing. Now they get it down low, Pazner. Pazner working the low post. Power dribble and her turnaround jumper misses to the right, but he draws the foul, and Pazner will go to the free throw line. Ten points on the day for Jake Pazner. And Pazner goes to the free throw line where he is shooting 60% on the year. Today, 0 for 1. Central by 10, 31-21. Passner's free throw in and out, no good, so he stays over from the free throw line. The foul called on John Comfort. Now, Comfort had a great game yesterday, scoring 17 points, but he's just not going to get a whole lot of playing today, committing so many fouls. Already his fourth, he'll sit. Alaric Jones, Hunter Kurtois, Brayton Mannion, Drew Skaggs, and Will Scherfus, the five on the floor for the Rebels. Now Patsner will hit his first free throw of the game. He's got 11 points, 31-22. DeSoto back to within nine. Here comes Central. Inbound from Hunter Kurtois to Will Scherfus. 
Scherfus going on. Keith to bring the ball up the floor. Does a good job getting it across the timeline. Throws it up top for Braden Mannion. Down low pass for Alaric Jones who cut to the bucket. Jones draws the contact. It's a foul on the floor. It's the second against DeSoto. 5.55 to play in the third quarter here on J98 The Boot. This is the semifinal, second semifinal of the day. The winner of this one will take on Coach Justin Callahan's Farmington Knights tomorrow night at 9 o'clock on J98. Here comes the pass into the corner. Braden Mannion left wide open for three. Not a good idea as he sticks it through. Braden Mannion's got five points. His first tray of the game, 34-22 Central Rebels. Into the front court. A right wing pass, Sean Sullivan. Overhead pass comes to Sanders. Sanders throws it over to the left wing. Bennett, Bennett lobs it down low. A double team on Pasner. Jump hook off back rim. Too strong. Rebound, Drew Skaggs. Skaggs gives to Jones. Jones drives in from the right wing. He's cut off from the bucket by Pasner. Swings it to the corner for Skaggs. Skaggs now has a double team on him. Needs to swing it out to somebody. Can't find anybody. Finally gets rid of it to Hunter Kurtois. And Kurtois draws some contact on Sean Sullivan right here. His officials are calling just about everything right now on DeSoto, and the Dragons getting a little bit frustrated. That's the first on Solomon. Team foul number three against the Dragons this half. Into the corner on the inbound comes the Skaggs. Up top, Sheriffus back to the baseline corner. A three ball from Mannion, no good. Alaric Jones gets the rebound, lost the handle of it, swings it out for Kurtois. Now left wing, it's Sheriffus, steps inside the arc, pulls up and shoots and nails it just inside the three-point line. Will Sheriffus has five. 36-22, 14-point game. And it's Bennett running baseline. Inbounds it to Pasner. DeSoto gets it into the front court. Sean Solomon drives, jump stop in the lane, pulls up with the right hand and knocks down the jumper to give him 11 points on the day. 36-24, it's DeSoto back to within 12. Inside pass comes to Skaggs on the other end for Central. Here's a leaner up and under in the finish, plus the foul. Drew Skaggs having a nice third quarter. Already more points than he had the entire first half. Six third quarter points. He's got ten total, and he'll go to the free throw line after Pastner commits his third foul. 38-24 Central, and Skaggs trying to make it a three-point play. Blake Nephew checks into the ball game for Central. Hunter Kurtois comes off. At the free throw line, Drew Skaggs. Three-point play is good. 11 points for Drew. Let's give you an update on the St. Louis Rams. They're leading in Seattle, which is tough to do. They're leading 7-3. to three. Another turnover by DeSoto. Jones comes up with a steal. He finds Skaggs in the near side corner. He tries to dribble around Pasner, and uh-oh, foul number four on Big Jake. And not good for DeSoto. Not a whole lot has gone the Dragons' way today. So DeSoto turned it over for the sixth time right there. Pazder commits his fourth foul. He's likely coming off. He will. Edwards comes in for him. The Central Rebels, who always fill up this place, tournament or not, are getting a nice rise out of their home crowd. Alaric Jones can't find anybody to inbound to. Finally lobs it up back near the timeline for Will Scherfus. Scherfus puts the ball on the floor, dribbles to the left wing. Up top it goes to Jones. Jones straight away. Now right wing pass comes to Braden Mannion. He'll lob it inside for Drew Skaggs. Not such a size disadvantage now with Patson out of the ball game. Skaggs will take a deep jumper. No good. Blake Nephew offensive rebound. Put back. He's fouled. And Blake Nephew will try the free throw line. 39-24, already six fouls against DeSoto this half. We're not even halfway through the third quarter. That foul called on... Sanders of DeSoto. And the free throw from Blake Nephew, not going to go. Nephew yet to score in this game. He's gotten a couple of nice rebounds, however. Blake Nephew will line it up and try to salvage this trip down. This one, not going to go either, off to the right. So Nephew goes over two on that trip for the football dream teamer. Into the front court comes DeSoto down 39-24. Sean Solomon has it up top. Now he'll pass to a cutter. Leonard, who tries the lay-in, not going to fall, but it's a blocky foul on Central. They'll get Blake Nephew right here for this one. And that'll send Leonard right back to the free throw line. Sean Leonard wearing his loud shoes again today. Bright green, almost hurt your eyes. You kind of can't look directly at him. Left-handed free throw shooter misses to the left. No good. 91% free throw shooter. But he missed that one. Sean Leonard will try it again. After missing his first, he hits his next for his first point of the game. 
Central now leading 39-25. Under four minutes to play third quarter. Scherfus bounces inside for Skaggs. Back out. Scherfus baseline. Three ball. Not going to fall. Rattles out. Drew Skaggs offensive rebound. Put back. Had to go over the top of two defenders. Couldn't get it to fall. DeSoto boards it. Swings it to Sean Sullivan. Sullivan dribbling into the front court. Spin move, top of the key. Drives in, stopped at the second block, then kicked back out, left wing. And a drive here. Sanders can't hit his lay-in. Rebound, Bennett. He'll try to put it back. Can't do it, but he'll get fouled. And Jake Bennett goes back to the free throw line. And for Jake Bennett, after the Will surface foul, Bennett shooting 50% on the year from the strike. Jake Bennett hasn't done much today offensively. No points. Right-handed free throw shooter misses off a back rim and no good. He's 50% from the free throw line on the year. And he averages nine points per game coming off the bench for Coach Genoine's team. Free throw good. There's his first point. 39-26. 3.30 left to go. Central into the front court. Sheriffus kicks to the far side corner. Braden Mannion has it there. And John Comfort playing with four fouls today. Jake Pastner playing with four fouls, actually sitting with four fouls, both of those two guys. And they're out of the ball game right now. Meanwhile, a foul on DeSoto. This is away from the basketball. They'll call it on Edwards, number two, personal for him. But number seven, team-wise, that sends Drew Skaggs back to the free throw line. He's one for one today from the free throw line. 11 points for Drew. Right-handed free throw shooter puts it up and it rattles out no good. Missed the front end, doesn't earn himself another, so DeSoto boards it and brings it up the floor. Down by 13 points, 39-26. Sean Sullivan left wing, throws it to Sanders. Sanders stops top of the key, working on his pivot foot. Bounce pass to the cutting Sullivan, who puts it off glass and in. Nice pass, nice finish by Sean Sullivan. It's going to be up to him to get DeSoto back into it. A pass into the front court, saved from going out of bounds by Braden Mannion. He controls it on the far side, throws it up top for Sheriffus. Sheriffus now backs it back up near half court. Central by 11 points. Swings it to the left wing, Jones. Jones pulls up and shoots the deep two. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes to Dominic Bays. Rather, Sean Leonard for DeSoto. Gives up to Sullivan, who passes up court to Sanders. Sanders swings it left wing for Leonard. Leonard unloads the three, leaves it short, no good. Rebound, though, comes back out to Bennett for DeSoto. The Dragons reset. Passes to Edwards in the corner. Edwards puts the ball on the floor. Drives, jump stop, inside the key. Throws it back out, left wing. Sanders thought about the three. Instead, pumps, then drives. Left-handed lay-in, not going to go. Bennett offensive board. Put back, doesn't fall. And four different opportunities there for DeSoto. None of them went. And it's Central back on the attack, leading by 11. Into the corner, it's Drew Skaggs. Skaggs throws it left wing for Alaric Jones. Jones now drives, splits a double team. Bounce pass to the baseline, cutting. Blake Nephew, oh, he walked with it. He had finished on the lay-in, but walked prior. To that, and Central 6 turnover gives DeSoto the basketball in an 11-point game. So Nephew comes off, Sherpas comes off, D.J. Buchanan's back in, Austin Caldwell's back in for Central. DeSoto to have Edwards throw it in. We're down to 2 minutes and 9 seconds remaining. Inbound comes in, Central putting on the pressure. Leonard still in the backcourt, gives it up to Edwards. DeSoto turns it over again. Edwards spun and threw blindly across court, expecting somebody to be there. Nobody was. It's a turnover. DeSoto's 17th unofficially of the game. Here comes Central. DJ Buchanan after the inbound dribbles it to the right wing. Now he'll start to attack. attack steps inside the arc, tries a bank shot. It's no good. Rebound DeSoto with Jake Bennett. Bennett gives it up to Sullivan. Sullivan throws it right wing. Now Leonard's going to attack a double team. Can't finish with a left hand. And DeSoto just has had trouble finishing today. Full court pass up to Caldwell. It's a one-on-one -on -one with him and Sullivan. He can't get the shot to fall over. Sullivan gets his own rebound. Working in the low post. Throws it up top for Skaggs for a deep two. Oh, yes. With his foot on the line, Drew Skaggs makes it happen. Nine points in the third quarter for Skaggs. 13 total. 41-28 Central. Here's DeSoto again. Bennett trying to run the floor. Attack a double team. Lay in good. That was nice from Jake Bennett. Attack the double team and drew the foul. Bennett's first field goal right there. DeSoto trying to hang around. Down by 11. 41-30. But Bennett will try to make that a three-point play as he steps to the free throw line. Again, 50% on the year. One of two today. 1.14 left to go third quarter. Bennett lines it up, puts it up, puts it in. 
Two of three from the line today for Bennett. The three-point play is good, 41-31. DeSoto back to within 10. Central out of control. DJ Buchanan was able to find Braden Mannion in the corner, but he lost the three-point shot, did not get it to go. Got his own rebound after it was tipped up a few times. Swings it back out to Buchanan. Buchanan working on Sanders. Dribbles to the right wing. Pulls up his dribble. Gives to Mannion. Mannion steps inside the arc, then swings it left wing. Alaric Jones wants the three. Not going to go. Rebound Solomon. Solomon spin move as he brings the ball up the court, working on Jones. Overhead pass up to Sanders. Sanders has it far side. One dribble, then gives it up top for Bennett. Bennett working on his right pivot foot. Swings it inside to the cutting. Leonard lay in. Oh, they'll call the foul, though, offensively. And it's going to be waved off. They're not going to count it. It's the charge. And that's number one on Leonard. Number eight on DeSoto. In case you're wondering, Central has committed four so far. Central inbounds to Caldwell right at half court. And he swings it into the front court for Alaric Jones. Jones has a double team come on him. Swings it inside for Skaggs. Skaggs pulls up the shot. I don't know what he was trying to do there. I don't know if he thought he was out of time or he just threw up a shot off balance, fading away from just inside the arc. Wasn't even looking at the basket right there. Maybe he had some contact and thought he could draw a foul. I don't know. Either way, it was no good. DeSoto comes up with it. Naked hold for a last shot. Well, no, they won't. They turn it over again. 18 turnovers for DeSoto. Central takes over, leading by 10, 6.6 seconds on the clock in the third. It's been a game to forget so far for the Dragons, yet they only trail by 10. Into the front court, Buchanan pulls up for a deep three. Off the window! Yes, sir! Just beyond half court, DJ Buchanan nails it. 44-31 Central Rebels leading the DeSoto Dragons. What a game for the home team. We're back in a minute with the fourth on J98. The entire faculty and staff of the South Iron School District would like to take this time to wish the South Iron Panthers the best of luck this season. The Panthers have proven that they have what it takes to be winners both on and off the court. And everyone at the South Iron School District is very proud of each of you. Again, good luck this basketball season to the South Iron Panthers from the entire faculty and staff at the South Iron School District. When it comes to building, remodeling, or any job you need to get done, you're sure to find what you need at Potosi Lumber Company. At Potosi Lumber, you'll find a full line of DeWalt power tools, including cordless drills, reciprocating saws, circular saws, and rotary hammers for that big job. Remember that Potosi Lumber also carries Wrangler and John Deere clothing for men, women, and children. And if you're looking for wallpaper and accessories, they stock those items too. Potosi Lumber Company, Highway 21, one mile north of Potosi. 44-31 is our score after a big three-point meg just beyond half court by D.J. Buchanan. It had been a 10-point game prior to that, but DeSoto just keeps on giving Central opportunities. 18 turnovers unofficially for the DeSoto Dragons. 13-point game. Central Rebels start with the basketball in the fourth quarter. Moving right to left if you're watching on J98 Web TV. Alaric Jones attacks, kicks baseline to Austin Caldwell. Pulls up, shoots, and scores it. Caldwell with his first points of the game as Central keeps it going. 15-point lead now, 46 to 31. Patsner still sitting with foul trouble on the bench. He's got four. For Central, it's John Comfort on the bench with his four fouls. Up top. Edwards. Edwards takes it inside the arc, swings it out. Here's a three ball from Sanders. Off back rim. It's no good. Bennett offensive rebound. Put back. Won't fall either, but he's fouled. And Bennett, who's tried to step up and help carry the team in the second half, goes back to the line. He's two for three from the free throw line. He's got four points. All those came in the third quarter. And Bennett's going to be asked to do a lot with Patsner on the bench. So Bennett lines it up, puts it up, missed it. Off front rim, no good. 50% on the year, 50% on the night for Bennett. Seven minutes, 24 seconds remains, and the free throw good this time for Jake, 46-32. 14-point lead for Central. DJ Buchanan, the hero at the end of the third quarter, will walk the ball up the floor, throws it up top, intercepted by Sullivan, keeps it inbounds, racing up the floor to one on two. Sullivan stripped, good defense by Braden Mannion. Ball ended up out of bounds, so DeSoto will keep possession here, but... Good job, Braden Mannion, getting back there. Now DeSoto inbound. Sanders will walk into a three ball. Can't hit it. 
Rebound, Bennett tries to put it back, overshoots it no good. Now the rebound this time goes to Alaric Jones. Now he stepped on the baseline. They didn't call that. I guess they ruled foul beforehand. I think they did on DeSoto. So Alaric Jones will walk down the other side of the floor, shoot the front end of a one and one. The foul called on Bennett, his third, team foul number nine. Alaric Jones, the free throw shooter, and he's over one today. Eight points for Alaric Jones. Hasn't scored in the second half yet. But he was big in that first half. In fact, lead it, let him in scoring in the first half. So it's Alaric Jones at the free throw line. Lining it up, putting it up. Missed it. Front end is no good. So he's over 2 today. DeSoto rebounds it. Up court they come. Edwards has it left wing. Edwards working on Caldwell. Penetrates. Jump stop in the paint. Swings it back out up top. Sanders. Sanders. Pump fake and a drive. Kicks baseline to Bennett. Bennett got bumped and kind of walked with it, but... They let him play on that one. Left wing at Sanders. Sanders takes it inside the arc, then gets redirected. Swings it out to Leonard, who wants the three ball. And Mr. Green Shoes lights up the scoreboard. 46 to 35 as Leonard gets his first field goal of the ball game right there. It's a three-point make, and DeSoto needed it. 46-35, 6.37 left to go fourth quarter. We got a timeout on the floor. We're back in a minute on J98. It's Auto Center's Bond Hair year-end celebration with thousands of dollars in savings. Every certified car, truck, and SUV with a lifetime warranty is clearly marked down thousands. Qualified customers receive zero down and zero payments till spring. Let's not forget, everybody's approved at Auto Centers. Auto Centers is the only dealer with green light auto credit, certified vehicles, and lifetime warranty. So get it all at Auto Centers on Highway 67, Bonterre, Terre, or on the web, autocenters67.com. Southeast Missouri Behavioral Health is an integrated co-occurring mental health and substance abuse service provider with offices throughout the region. Southeast Missouri Behavioral Health can help if you're worried that someone you love might have a mental or substance abuse problem and you don't know what to do. Southeast Missouri Behavioral Health is accredited by the Commission on the Accreditation for Rehabilitation Facilities. Visit www.cmobh.org for free confidential online screenings or call 1-800-455-5749. That's 1-800-455-5749. KTJJ Farmington, Festus Crystal City, St. Genevieve, The Boot. Central Rebels leading by 11 points, 46-35. Six minutes, 26 seconds left to go, fourth quarter. And as Central brings the ball up the floor, we get a foul called on Leonard. And in double bonus, Braden Mannion steps to the free throw line where he hits his first. Braden Mannion has six points. One of one from the free throw line now. 47-35 Central and DeSoto has seen enough. They're going to bring their big man, Jake Patsner, back on the floor. Again, four fouls for him. Edwards comes off. DeSoto just got a lot bigger when Patsner checks in. So Braden Mannion trying to hit two of two. He does. Seven points for Braden. 48-35 the score. Inbound comes in to Pazner at half court who swings it to Solomon. Solomon drives, spins, attacks a triple team, leaves his lay-in short but gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. 71% free throw shooter is Sean Solomon. Today he's two for three. 13 points for Sean Solomon leading the way for DeSoto. Pazner has 11. Those two have basically been it for DeSoto. 48-35, DeSoto's free throw from Sean Sullivan is good. Makes it 48-36 with 6.19 left to play. The foul was called on Alaric Jones, his third. He stays on the floor, but D.J. Buchanan comes off in favor of Will Sherpas. So it's going to be Sean Sullivan trying to go two for two this trip down, get it back to an 11-point game, and he does. He's hit his last three free throws. 48-37. DeSoto trying to make a game of it. Central to inbound. Drew Skaggs throws it in, but threw it right to Bennett, who walked with it. So each team turns it over right there. Skaggs was looking for Caldwell, but Caldwell had looked to the sideline right as Skaggs threw it in. So Caldwell comes off, and Hunter Kurtois is back in. That was near disaster for Central as Bennett intercepted, but then walked, took too many steps toward the bucket for his layup. Now Central races up the floor. It's Skaggs running the floor, and he had his running mate, Alaric Jones, running right beside him. A no-look dish, and Jones lays it in. Beautiful assist from Drew Skaggs, 50-37. to 37. Now DeSoto calls timeout as Sean Solomon hit the deck to avoid the travel. Coach Genowine calls the timeout. They wanted the foul call, and as they argue, 
It's going to be a technical foul. Somebody said something that they shouldn't have. The DeSoto Dragons will be teed up here. And the officials will get together and the coaches will get together and the teams will get together during the timeout as well. DeSoto seeing this one slipping 50 to 37. 601 left to go fourth quarter. We'll break for 30 seconds on G98. The Potosi R3 School District is committed to excellence and they are proud of their students and athletes. These young people work hard and show a ton of dedication. The Potosi R3 students and athletes are committed to excelling to high levels of achievement. Attitude and perseverance play a big part in their success. The Potosi R3 School District sincerely hopes this 2012-13 school year is a wonderful and memorable stepping stone in your life's journey. Technical foul free throw coming from Braden Mannion after the timeout, and Mannion hits it. He's three for three today from the free throw line, so DeSoto complicates things after they don't get a foul call. They get teed up on the sideline. Braden Mannion hits two free throws now, and it's going to be central basketball. Actually, misspoke on that. Yeah, it will be central basketball. 52-37, six minutes and one second left to play. Alaric Jones throws it in for Hunter Kurtois. Kurtois has it straight away. Picked up his dribble, though. He's got a double team tied on him. Hands it off to Alaric Jones. Jones now is going to try to drive in baseline. Bounce pass to the cutting. Skaggs on the other end, and Skaggs off the glass. Puts it up and puts it in. What a second half for Drew Skaggs. 54-37 to 37 the score. 11 second half points for Skaggs to give him 15 total. 54-37 to Soto struggling. Cross-court pass to Sullivan. He loads up for the three ball after a pump fake, and he was off balance and didn't go. Rebound, though, goes offensively to Keith, and Keith goes up, double clutches, and lays it in and draws the foul. Now, Keith had been deathly quiet today offensively, but he gets his first points right there, and he'll step to the free throw line. So that made it 54-39. to 39. Keith averaging just two points per game, more of a ball distributor at the point guard spot. He's 50% on the year from the free throw line. Today, he's 0 for 1. So that means he'll make this one. No, he didn't. Off to the left. 54-39, the score remains. Central rebounds it with Skaggs. Skaggs walks it up the far sideline. Dribbles, then kicks to the left wing for Alaric Jones. Jones throws it up top for Will Sheriffus. And, you know, Coach Callahan was saying that Central has come a long way since the Arcadia Valley Thanksgiving basketball tournament. I can vouch for that. This is not the same team that lost to Clearwater in the semifinals of that tournament. This team has improved night and day since that point. There's a foul on DeSoto. It's the second on Keith. A double bonus free throws coming for Will Sherfus. Sherfus, five points today. He'll step to the free throw line. Central's five on the floor. Sherfus, Mannion, Kurtois, Skaggs, and Jones. Sherfus hits his first one. DeSoto, Patsner, Sanders, Keith, Sullivan, and Bennett on the floor. So Sheriff has hit the first. How about number two? Yes. Seven points for Will. 56-39. It's looking really good for the Central Rebels. It's looking like we'll see an MAAA championship in the championship game. DeSoto turns it over. That's number 20. Dragons. Just didn't have it today. They pass inside to Hunter Kurtois on the other end. Kurtois, though, lost the handle of it. Ends up out of bounds. He couldn't save it back in in time. Central's turned it over nine times. DeSoto, 20. It is the Dragons basketball with 4.55 to play. If they want to come back, they got to make something happen and quick. Coach Genoine playing substitution game here with Jake Pastner. They'll bring him out on defense, put him back in there on offense. Every chance they get. Solomon with a bounce pass up to Passer. There's Sheriff is jumping in front of it for the interception. He'll run the floor. It's a two-on-two. Two. What a dish down low to Skaggs, who reverse lays it in. What floor awareness by Sheriff with the steal and then the big assist on the other end to Drew Skaggs. 58-39. to 39. That coming off the 21st DeSoto turnover. Left wing Solomon. Right wing now Edwards into the corner. Oh, dribble and the ball out of bounds is DeSoto. That one was Sean Leonard. 22 turnovers for the DeSoto Dragons. So the one seed fell, the Hillsboro Hawks. That was in the quarterfinal round. The two seed fell, the South Iron Panthers. That was in the quarterfinal round. The three seed, DeSoto, is really on the ropes in danger of falling here in the semi 
quarterfinal round. The four seed St. Pius fell in the quarterfinal round. Here's Bennett intercepting the inbound pass, swings it to Sullivan, right back to Bennett underneath, who goes up high off the window and in. Nicely done by Bennett. 58 to 41. So the highest seed that will be in the championship if Park Hill Central does indeed go on to win it will be Farmington, the five. Here's a jump shot underneath on the other side for Park Hill Central. No good. Rebounded by Kurtois. Put back doesn't go. Pasner throws Blake Nephew to the floor. Central wanted a foul. Didn't get it. Here's a travel on the other end by DeSoto. Their problems continue with their 23rd turnover. 3.56 left to play. It's a 17-point deficit for the DeSoto Dragons. Outplayed today by the Central Rebels, 58-41. Central will inbound. Blake Nephew to throw it in. Nephew threads a needle to Hunter Kurtois. Timeout, Coach Harlow. He wants a full one. The Central Rebels have a 60-second timeout coming. 58-41 the score. Rebels lead it at home. 3.55 to play fourth quarter. We're back in a minute on J98 and J98 Web TV. To a healthier you is an informational meeting with one of Jefferson Regional's bariatric surgeons. Scheduled several times each month, these surgical weight loss programs will introduce you to options available through My Healthy Weight. Jefferson Regional Medical Center in Crystal City features top surgeons, a brand new and first of its kind surgical hospital, and the technology to provide laparoscopic gastric banding, sleep gastrectomy, or bypass surgery. No one else in the region has a lineup that impressive. For information about surgical weight loss options at Jefferson Regional, call 636-933-8135. Vicki Crocker at Nash Realty in Park Hills is a proud supporter of the community she serves. When you're ready to buy or sell your home or business, give Vicki Crocker a call at 573-747-8099. Vicki can provide you with the most up-to-date listing on the market. Comparative market analysis of your property available. So when you're ready, Vicki Crocker will do the running for you. Call Vicki Crocker at Nash Realty today, 747-8099. That's 573-747-8099. Out of the timeout at Central Rebel Basketball. Garrett Mannion controls in the front court. Cross court pass over to Will Shervis, who takes it in baseline, pulls up, shoots, no good. Offensive rebound, Skaggs trying to put it back in. Can't do it. Rebound this time comes to Bennett. It's a 58-41 game. Central leading DeSoto. The Dragons running out of time. Into the front court, it's Sean Sullivan. He's got it up top. Drives in from the left side. Oh, he's fouled and fouled hard by Drew Skaggs. And Skaggs says, hey, my bad, man. I'm going to help you up here. That was, that was kind of rough. I think Sullivan took an elbow to the head on that one. So Skaggs has two fouls. That's number eight on the Rebels. Solomon will step to the line and shoot two. 71% on the year. He's hit his last three today. He's four of five today total. And with the clock stop, free throws are important here. And this one's good. Make it four in a row for Sean Solomon, the team's leading scorer today. 58-42 with 325 on the clock. Sean Solomon's next one. On its way, good. 58-43, back to a 15-point game. All DeSoto needs is five straight possessions with the three ball and not letting the central score on the other end on all of those possessions. But in all seriousness, though, I mean, DeSoto's really got some work to do if they want to try to win this. Here's Braden Mannion getting the pass full court right underneath the bucket. He gets fouled hard. He goes to the deck and then heads to the free throw line. Now, he's made fourth free throws in a row. He's four for four today. Nine points. He had two in the first, three in the third, and four here in the fourth. And he misses his first free throw right there. Score remains 58-43. Couple of subs in for DeSoto. Patsner comes back in. Bennett comes off. Looks like Keith comes off as Leonard is back in. Three minutes, 21 seconds on the clock. The next one for Braden Mannion also rims out no good. Patsner with another rebound. He's got a double-double today. He gives it up to Sullivan. DeSoto down by 15. Dribbles to the left wing. Spins. Stops his dribble. Gives it left wing for Leonard. Lob pass down low to Passner. This should be a reverse lay-in easy. Well, it won't be that easy. He'll be fouled from behind. He'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. So Central made him earn it right there. Drew Skaggs will pick up his third. Team foul number nine. Passner at the free throw line. 60% on the year for Passner. He is one of four today. Kind of struggled from the strike. Three minutes, seven seconds left. Patsner's free throw. Nope, not going to go. He's missed his last two, now one of five from the free throw line. Coming out is Leonard. Coming back on is Keith for DeSoto. Now John Comfort's going to come back in for Central. He's been out for a while. He picked up his fouls early on in this ballgame, and 
Hasn't been able to really make the mark that he wanted to. He hit an early three back in the first quarter, but Central's done a good job without him in there. Up by 15 points in the latter parts of this game. Patsner will hit his next one, so it's a 14-point game. 58-44. And Bennett comes back in for Patsner as Patsner will sit on defense to save him from fouling out of this game. Central inbounds with Surface. Surface into the front court. Crossing the timeline, throws it left wing, lobs it down low for Skaggs, and what a catch by Skaggs as he was being harassed. He went up one hand and palmed the ball on the catch. Or it looked like he did anyway. Got fouled as he was coming down, actually as he was going up. It'll be two free throws coming for Skaggs. The foul went on Edwards, his third. Skaggs at the line to shoot two, hits his first. Skaggs on the free throw line today, two for three. A big second half for him. 14 second half points, 18 points total for Drew after scoring 26 yesterday against South Iron. The free throw, good. Three for four from the free throw line, 60 to 44. Under three minutes left to go. It's looking like the Central Rebels are going to advance to the championship where they'll take on the Farmington Knights in a five versus seven matchup for the championship. Down low, it's Pazner as he checked back in. Now a right wing pass, a three ball, not going to go. That one from Leonard. Rebound, Drew Skaggs. Skaggs, no hesitation, racing up the floor. Swings it to Comfort. They get it down low to Hunter Kurtois. Kurtois goes up, gets a shot partially blocked. Rebound, Pazner. Pazner swings it up for Sullivan. Sullivan now has it left wing. Crossover move, has the ball poked away by Alaric Jones and then the foul on DeSoto. Alaric Jones defensively has been a playmaker tonight. He was looking for the strip and the bucket back the other way. He'll settle for a trip to the free throw line as Solomon picked up his second foul. What can you say about the Central Rebels in this tournament? And then the couple of games prior leading up to it, they have been outstanding. Now 7-4 and four on the year. They'll go to 8-4 and four after this one. Alaric Jones at the free throw line. Can't hit it. He's 0-3 today from the free throw line. He's in double figures with 10 points. And again, he led the team in scoring after the first half. He had 8. 2.28 left in the fourth quarter. Stay tuned for our American Family Insurance agent Mike Dominic post-game show. We'll talk to the head coach of the coaches of this one. 61-44 as Jones hits one of two free throws there. Inbound to Leonard for DeSoto. It's all over but the crying in this one. 61-44 Central. Here's a right wing pass Sullivan. Sullivan has a double team on him. Getting harassed a little bit too tightly by Central. It's a foul called with 217 left. Sullivan will go to the free throw line as that's number 10 on the Central Rebels. Sullivan, the 71% free throw shooter, has made five in a row. He's six of seven today. Eight second half points for Sean Sullivan. 61-44 DeSoto trails. Make it 61-45 as he hits that one. Jake Bennett comes back on. Patsner comes off. Those two are coming in and out for each other. Coach Genoine trying to keep Patsner in the game on offense. With his four fouls. This one to make it a 14-point game. Got it. 61-46. Excuse me, a 15-point game. Drew Skaggs inbound for the Park Hills Central Rebels into Hunter Kurtois. DeSoto applies the pressure. Kurtois gives it back to Skaggs. Skaggs fires it up court for Will Surface. Surface with a bounce pass underneath the Comfort. Comfort goes up and gets fouled on the other side. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Two minutes and eight seconds left to go. Just past 5 o'clock here on G98. The boot 521. J98 Web TV. So we had two games on Web TV today. We'll have three for you tomorrow on New Year's Eve. That's assuming the weather cooperates with us and allows us to get these games underway tomorrow. John Comfort's free throw is in and out. No good. The three games are the girls or the uh, boys' third place game, the girls' championship, and the boys' championship tomorrow evening. Now there's a bunch more games going on tomorrow, but only the last three will be broadcast on J98. Comfort missed his first free throw. The next one also rattles out and no good. So he'll stay with three points. DeSoto has Sanders bring the ball up the floor. He picked up his dribble inexplicably and had to give it up for Solomon. Solomon, though, comes across the timeline. We're under two minutes to play. Solomon gets a screen from Patzer, then takes it inside, pulls up from inside the free throw line. It's no good. Alaric Jones rebounds it for Central. He'll bring it up the far sideline. Takes it to the top of the key. Swings it near side for Skaggs, and the Central Rebels will presumably go to run the clock mode with a 15-point lead. DeSoto will commit the foul. 
And Sanders is going to be teed up, it looks like. And on top of that, it was his fifth foul. So he fouls out, commits the technical. And I guess the official didn't like the way he kind of went after Will Sherpas on that foul. Kind of went over the top with a little tomahawk. I don't know if it was worth a, a technical or not, but either way, Sanders is done with his fifth plus the T. And it'll be Will Sherpas at the free throw line. That's just the way this game's gone for DeSoto. I can't think of, I could probably count the things that have gone right for them on one hand. Here's the free throw from Sherfus, off back rim and no good. And these are the technical foul free throws from Will Sherfus. He's two for, or was two for two coming into that shot, now two for three. One minute, 40 seconds is all that separates the Central Rebels from the championship game in this tournament. Sherfus misses the next free throw. And now Central will maintain the basketball. The five-second count started before the Rebels had anybody over there to take the ball from the official. Lark Jones, though, inbounds it, gets it right back, and then drives the baseline and lays it in off the window. That was the plan all along. 63-46. Now it's DeSoto. Sean Sullivan driving left wing, pulls up and shoots and nails one right inside the free throw line. His first field goal since midway through the third quarter. 63-48 the score. And Will Sheriffus, as he brings it into the front court, DeSoto is going to continue to foul and send him to the free throw line. This game just really never got close. DeSoto would get it to within nine points at one point, but even then, Central has had this in the bag. Well, not in the bag, but they've controlled it since midway through the first quarter. Give the Rebels credit for this one. They have, they have put together a good basketball game. Sherpas hits his first free throw. That'll make it 63 or 64 to 48. The next one for Will. Off back rim and no good. So kind of uncharacteristically for him, missing some free throws down the stretch. Three for six. Central just came up with another steal. Here come the Rebels, and they'll foul a Lark Jones, and Jake Patzner is going to pick up his fifth. He's done. So they'll try to extend this game for as long as they can, I guess. Alaric Jones will be the guy at the free throw line now. He'll shoot two. So Patzner is fouled out. Sanders is fouled out for DeSoto. They'll just have to push, put this one behind him. It'll be DeSoto versus West County in the third place game tomorrow. It'll be Central versus Farmington in the championship game. Drew Skaggs comes off. They'll let him rest the rest of the way. Alaric Jones at the free throw line. Missed his first. Jones has struggled from the line today. One for two, three, four, five. One minute, 11 seconds left to go. Central Rebels will advance to eight and four on the year. They didn't start off very well. They started two and four. This is their sixth straight win. Here's the next free throw from Jones. It's up and in 65-48. Now it's DeSoto into the front court. Playing for a little bit of pride right here. Solomon crossover, move, drives, splits the lane nicely and lays it in off glass. Sean Solomon's put together a nice game. There's not enough around him today. 65-50. Central dribbles it into the front court. Buchanan with a pass to Jones. Jones right back to Buchanan at the timeline. Down to 50 seconds left to play. Central's going to hold the basketball and bleed the clock. Now Leonard comes out to guard Buchanan. Buchanan swings it over to the far side for Riley Calvert, who just checked into the ballgame for the first time. Back to Buchanan, back to Calvert. 35 seconds on the clock. Cross-court pass inside to Blake Nephew. Nephew, though, stripped to the basketball by Bays. Bays gives it up for Sullivan. DeSoto now with 26 seconds on the clock. Sullivan will take a deep three off to the left. No good. Central rebounds it. Alaric Jones holds it with 21 seconds on the clock. He'll walk the ball slowly into the front court, and the Central crowd stands on their feet, and they give their Rebels a big round of applause for a dominating performance against a team who many favored to win this tournament, the DeSoto Dragons. 65-50 to 50 is going to be your final score as Alaric Jones holds the ball on his hip. That's it. Buzzer sounds. Ball game. 65-50 Central Rebels. Congratulations. That was convincing. Central will go to the championship absolutely red hot to face the Farmington Knights tomorrow night at 9 o'clock.